morning everyone, Matt Nomadic Native back with you. Thanks for tuning in. So, was expecting some bad weather this morning. Turns out to be bright and sunny. So, right here during allergy season, I'm out cutting trees and trimming bushes and mowing grass. That's real smart. So anyway, I need to make a uh, quick video so I get back outside and continue doing what I'm doing. And I want to talk about something in this video that I don't think I've spoken about before here on the channel. I want to talk about holding tank treatments. Specifically, gray water holding tank treatments. Now, we don't have a black tank. You guys know this. Uh, we have a composting toilet and I've converted our old black tank into just another gray water holding tank, you know, through the plumbing as we do. And uh, however, we, you know, we've had black tank in the past. I know how bad it can be. Um, you know, it's a black tank. Um, however, if you don't have your, haven't bought your first RV yet, or you are otherwise uninitiated into the foul odorous affair that an RV gray tank can become, you are in for a special treat, my friend. You really are. Because while I, uh, I'm sure my fellow RVers will agree with me down there in the comments that uh, while a black tank is bad, and we all know it is, a, uh, an RV gray tank can become just as bad and maybe even worse. I mean, at least with a black tank, you know what to expect, right? With that RV gray tank, the odors coming out of there are not anything that you can describe, and it's horrid. Uh, let me tell you what happens, what, what has happened to us uh, with, uh, with our RV Java. Over the last two and a half years that we've been traveling full time, that gray tank smell has gotten worse and worse and worse over time, even though I have been using whatever product I can find across this nation off the shelf at RV dealerships and other places that said gray water holding tank treatment, okay? What I have found is that those products uh, from the pour ins to the dissolve in pucks to the stuff you put down the drain, whatever, they're just temporary cover ups. They don't solve the problem. Um, our gray tank water smell just got worse and worse and worse over time. You guys have seen, I've, and I've made videos about it. Uh, you guys have seen me uh, replace the siphon, the the, um, uh, the plumbing siphon thing cap on top of the, the uh, roof, the vent. I put one of those uh, siphon things on there to help suck that gray water smell out, right? Uh, you've heard me talk about how sometimes when we come out of a... Um, uh, from getting diesel at a truck stop, you know how you come out of the truck stop and you're back onto the road and you've got that dip right there and how it has rocked us pretty violently back and forth side to side hard enough that it's dumped the pea traps underneath our sinks and three miles down the road, that horrid gray water smell has filled the coach. Yeah, I, I mean, it is really bad, Okay. And it just got worse and worse over time using those products that I was buying uh, that turned out not to be solutions, but just cover-ups, just odor cover-ups is what they were, evidently. So about uh, two years ago, I think it was, in the parking lot at Litson RV in Forest City, Iowa, I met an older guy. His name's Phil. He was from Flippin, Arkansas. And... Uh, Phil saw me coming out of the dealership and I was reading the package, the back of one of these gray water treatment things I just bought. And uh, he called me over and we talked about it for a minute. I told him the problem that I was having. And it was bad back then and it just got worse over time, right? Uh, Phil opened up his uh, one of his basement compartments where he had everything stored and he pulled out this uh, oval white canister, it wasn't a round one like this, of this stuff, Happy Campers. And he told me, he said, you know, get you some of this Happy Campers and it'll solve your problem. And then he put it back and we never spoke about it again. And it, uh, you know, I've looked for it for a long time everywhere we went. I looked for it and there was no place that I could just conveniently buy it off the shelf. You have to order this stuff online, I guess. Uh, I think Amazon has it. And if I can find it, I'll leave a link down in the description below for you. I don't do affiliate links. It's just a regular link. Okay. 
So anyway, Phil told me about that stuff. Then he put it back. We didn't speak about it anymore. And it just went to the back of my mind. And I kept buying those cover-up products that I was talking about. Well, fast forward to uh, Quartzite this year. You guys saw how we were handling our gray water and quartzite this year. It's just Maria and I. We, If we use more than 12 gallons of water a day, it would surprise me if we do. It's just a little bit more anyway. So what I was doing was using two of these six-gallon water jugs and uh, filling these up and taking these to the Blue Boy dump and just dumping these, right? And that worked out just fine. Uh, we got there about a month before the big tent, somewhere around in there, and uh, maybe a little more. And... Believe me when I tell you that it was not a pleasant experience filling these up and taking them to the Blue Boy dump because of the smell of the gray water. It was putrid. It really was. Uh, it would, just in the time it took to fill these two jugs up, that smell would fill the coach. Maria would complain about it. It would still be there in the coach when I would come back. You have to air the place out and all that. And I'm certain that our neighbors that were downwind of us probably didn't uh, appreciate it much either. Because uh, I'm certain they probably got a whiff of it. It's just that bad. It really is. Um, so we go in the big tent, and there's a vendor in there, and he's got these. And this isn't cheap. This is $30. How much is this? This is uh, 40, 40, 40, 40 gallon treatments. We got two tanks. This is supposed to be 20 treatments. But not really. Uh, I'll get to that. Uh, hold that thought. We'll come back to it. Um, let me tell you what my experience has been with this stuff. Because it didn't happen overnight, but I can tell you that right now, our gray water has no smell at all. Okay, here's how it happened. Over the course of maybe, I don't know, five to eight times of dumping and using and dumping and filling and dumping and using. What happened was the first thing I noticed is uh, the smell started to dissipate. And after a couple of times using this stuff, all I had left was the smell of used cooking grease. That's what the gray water smelled like was used cooking grease. As hard as we try to scrape everything off into the uh, sink and not let it go down the drain, Invariably, some of it gets down there because we cook a lot, you know, like I, met, like I mentioned. Well, it smelled like used cooking grease. And then, uh, I think you guys have seen it before in video, uh, the way I have my dump valve set up in the RV is I have a clear tube to a final dump valve so I can see what's coming out of the tanks. What I started to see was it looked like uh, pieces of uh, paper, strips of paper floating in the water through through the uh, the elbow. And then that was this stuff cleaning the sludge out of the tanks, okay? After a few more times of using it, dumping, using, dumping, filling up, dumping, it had cleaned up the tanks to the point where, I'm telling you, you can go out there right now and pull my dump valves. The water will come gushing out of there and it's got no smell at all. Um, now that's not to say that you couldn't run a five gallon bucket and stick your face in it and smell something. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that there's just no foul smell. Um, it, it, there's just not. This stuff works. Now, I don't know what kind of, let me show you what this stuff looks like. I don't know what kind of voodoo powder this is. Okay, but it's one scoop for a gallon of water. You put it in a jug, shake it up so it dissolves, and then pour it down the drain. Um, but, you know, it's just a white powder. There's no, uh, um, there's no ingredients listed on here. But let me tell you what is listed. Uh, it says it'll give you an unsurpassed, long-lasting, odor-free protection, even in over 100-degree temperatures. No formaldehyde, biodegradable, it liquefies waste, no odor when dumping, environmentally friendly, good for septic, ta septic tanks. Uh, most, host house, most household tissue is okay, cleans and inhibits sludge or crystal buildup. It doesn't mask odors, it eliminates them. Try it risk-free, it does what we claim or your money back. And what does it claim? 
odor free right there on the front of the container. That's what it claims. And I'm telling you, for us, that is exactly what it has delivered. This stuff is awesome. Um, it's, uh, what can I tell you? I don't know what more I can tell you about it. It's, uh, it has absolutely cured the problem that we had with that horrid smelling gray water. It's gone, it has no smell at all. So if, you have, if you're having that same problem, okay, now wait just a second. What about the black tank? I can't comment on that. We don't have a black tank. But if we have uh, my fellow RVers here on the channel, you watch this video, if you can comment about Happy Campers, about how it works with the black tank, if you still have a black tank, down there in our comments, we'd really appreciate it to let our other viewers know how it works in the black tank. All I can comment is on how it works in the gray tank, and it's outstanding. It works exactly as it says on the packaging, odor free. Cleans the tanks, um, it's awesome. So yeah, <clears throat> that's about it for this video, I guess. Uh, just a quick one to uh, let you know about a really great product. No, we are not sponsored. Nobody's paying me to say any of this, just like normal. We don't do any of that. Um, I'm just a, a happy camper, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so that's about it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, we invite you to subscribe and follow along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for watching the video. We'll see you soon.